So over here you can see that I have a project and what I'm going to do with this project is I'm going to save a version of it. So I'm going to click on save as and then I'm going to click on browse and then save this uh, project over here in my desktop as example project itself. So once I do that, I'm going to go around and make another version of the project as well. So I'm just going to go around over here in desktop and save this out as example project 2 right here. Then I'm going to go around and make changes around this particular project. So let's say I'm going to go around over here and change out, let's say, for example, the dates right here in this particular project right here. So I'm just going to go around, change around the dates over here, just like this. And let me just go around and change around different things over here. I'm going to just move this out visually over here, just like this as well. Maybe change this out, change this out and so forth. And this is a real scenario. So what might happen is that you might have multiple projects and then you may go around and make changes to these projects right over there and maybe uh, you go around over here uh, and add in another task as well. Let's say for example after brainstorm I'm going to go around and insert out a new task right here and let's say this new task will be let's say for example our concept finalization right here just like this. So this is what you have and let's say this takes one day right here. And let's say this happens right around after this particular task right here. So I'm just going to go around over here and change out the date. Or maybe I'm going to say this is going to take two days for instance. And then I'm just going to go around, move it right around in this section over here, just like this. So it's not 26, but two days. So let me just go around and add that in. And this is what you have. So I have made a few changes to this particular project, as you can see from its original form. But uh, if you want to go ahead and then see what changes you have made um, uh, and if you have saved an older version of the project, then you can also go around and compare out the project uh, projects as you like as well. So to do that, you need to go around over here on to uh, the report tab. And here you can see that compare projects is an option over here. So if you were to go around and click on compare projects, then you already have the project opened up that is example project 2 and now you can click on browse and then access out the other version of the project right here to compare with it. So if you were to go around and click on open, what happens is that it uh, gives you the comparison option like what you want to compare right here. So I'm just going to go around and keep it to entry which is the default way of comparing the two projects. You can also go around and compare out other uh, properties that you like just like this and I'm just going to go around and click OK and what happens is that it compares out both the projects right here and shows everything side by side as you can see right here. So you can see that this is the timeline right here in example project 2 and this is in example project the original version right here. So you can see the uh, details of these projects side by side as you can see right here. So if I were to go around and pull this out, you can see the details side by side right here for these projects right here. So after that, you can also go around and see on the top the difference. For example, the overall production uh, that is the current duration is 266 while previously it was 230 days right here. And similarly, you can see the comparison over here in days for each of the project over here as well. For this one, you can see that there is nothing over here that is because there's uh, the uh, this particular task never existed. But over here for storyline writing, you can see that the current duration is one, whereas it was previously six days. And you can see the differences over here as well, like the differences in between days over here, as you can see, just like this. Like there's a zero day difference for this particular task, but there's a minus five day uh, difference for this task right here. And you can see the visual comparison over here as well as you can see this like this. So you can go around over here and see the overall visual comparison as well. If I were to go around and then let's say um, uh, zoom out, you can see the overall comparison over here at the bottom. You can see the um, budget revisions over here as well and so forth. And that is how you can go around and compare out projects as you like. Uh, uh, to compare the difference between the old project and new project inside of Microsoft Project. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.